you guys. We are back here at 560 with Robert Kerr, who works for Vancouver 125, and he's going to let us know a little bit about what the plans are and what great things the city can expect. Robert, please let everyone know what you do for Vancouver 125. I'm the producing artistic director for the civic events for Vancouver 125 and those are really primarily two major events that the city will be producing to celebrate this fabulous year, this anniversary year, and to celebrate the uh, designation as a cultural capital of Canada. So those two events are Birthday Live, which is taking place April the 6th at Jackpool Plaza, and April the 6th is the actual date that the city was incorporated 125 years ago, way back in 1886 and we'll have a very cool day with you know music and street arts and some cool sporting stuff that we'll be doing and birthday cake we'll light the cauldron we'll have some killer artists down there and some really great um, multimedia new media digital work down there as well at the site that'll go from about three in the afternoon until nine ten o'clock at night and it'll all be free, the public, and um, we'll also have uh, a really great celebration in the summer called Summer Live, and that's July 8, 9, and 10 at Stanley Park, and it'll be multi-stage, multidisciplinary, performing and visual arts and music and family stuff and great community arts and environmental arts, all the wonderful things that make Vancouver what Vancouver is culturally, you know, working with First Nations and the diverse cultural communities and you know, our great contemporary you know, popular artists as well as you know, cutting edge artists. It's going to be very cool, totally free and in you know, one of the most beautiful places in the entire world, Stanley Park. So it's going to be a blast and it's all about showcasing Vancouver, celebrating what the city has to offer for all of us who are so lucky to live here and for all the you know, tourists who come here and want to be a part of this experience. Well, that sounds really amazing, and you are absolutely someone who clearly knows how to do this right, because Robert here was involved with Culture Olympiad, and we all know the kind of fun the city had last year during the Olympics, so they can expect the same sort of vibrant cultural enthusiasm, I guess, in the air in a couple of months. There'll be activity right throughout the year. By virtue of the city's 125 anniversary grant program, there's over 60 organizations that have already received special funding to do special projects around Vancouver 125, so that's new things, enhanced programming beyond what they normally do, so it's really investing in the cultural community here, which is what we did with Cultural Olympiad, we partnered with a whole lot of people, uh, with, with literally over a hundred organizations in the city, and Vancouver has a really dynamic cultural community, and it's about getting involved in that, celebrating that, which is why we got the Cultural Capital of Canada designation in the first place, because this is a very cool and very exciting cultural city and it's about the audience and people getting out and exploring that and finding out what's going on. Well I think all that sounds amazing and I hope that you all get a chance to go out there and experience PUSH and uh, experience everything the Vancouver 125 has to offer. So happy almost birthday Vancouver. It's going to be a fantastic year I think. Thank you Robert. You're welcome. Thank you.